Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, there you go. Hello, hello. While we are waiting, we can write ourselves into the attendance then. Um, Matt can't make it today. Um, he has a family thing. Seems we have an absolute packed call today. <laughs> Richie, have you got a new microphone? You're like, usually you're so silent and today it sounds like you're yelling into my ear. Uh, no, um, but if I'm okay. silent, you're all- No, all no, 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 don't, 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 don't touch anything. It's, it's perfect. It's just usually you're like rather quiet no. and now it's really like really good. I, I just checked the settings. My microphone is at at the usual ninety ish percent, but it's quite easy to uh, to make it louder or or less loud. Uh, I I bought the most expensive Jabra on purpose because I thought I, I had a cheap one at my last plate of work, and I I, I got the most expensive one because I thought that I heard lots of travel. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and get the best thing. Um, and it's completely weird, and it's and it's completely misbehaving, and 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 it's I I don't know why it's why it's weird, but it's weird. Uh, but yeah, anyway, if I'm too silent, just tell me, because it's trivial to fix in software if I know about it. But it it seems to be resetting on its own, and sometimes it stops working completely. Um, but it was too expensive to just throw it away. Anyway, so we are at five minutes, then we can get started. We mainly have the document and we don't have the main authors of the document or main owners of the document here of the observability white paper, which is kind of uh, not good. Um, on a meta level, uh, what we can discuss and what we should discuss um, is potentially splitting up the document. Of course, we are at, I, I checked and then I forgot how many pages these are. Um, 26, 30, 35, yeah, 35. Um, to be fair, one of them is, is references um, and there's stuff which is not yet approved or, or merged or what have you, but, but yet I feel as if 35 pages is too long for, for uh, someone who just wants to onboard themselves. So maybe we, we should, con or I think we should consider splitting this up into, into sub papers where we have an overview and then we go into details of, of, of specifics. Um, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure what we, what we want to achieve with that splitting. So if I, for example, look at the white paper that the tag security did, so this one here, <clears throat> I would need to count uh, how many how many pages they have, but um, like it, it's it's 2021, right? Like I mean, it's not not that we need to 
think about that tree or whatever, like we can read it on the Kindle or other kind of support. Like, what are we trying to achieve with that? With splitting? Um, so first of all, it's only my idea. It's not me try, uh, saying we, we must do this or anything. So yeah, yeah no, I'm just trying to understand. Um, I've learned the hard way in, in various different contexts that if I write a design doc, which is which which goes over two pages, that people tend to not read it anymore. And if, if it goes more of like three or four pages, no one ever reads it uh, unless they really, really have. Um, and I my, my fear is if we present someone with a super long paper as an introduction, they will get scared and run away. Yeah, I see. I, there is, I, if I, I have a yeah. three pager, five pager, and I tell you this is observability, and now there's these four other documents to dive deeper or something, or put, split them up in a web page, or I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think I agree with with your sentiment. I don't think that a that randomly or arbitrarily cutting down the the white paper makes sense. Again, just for reference, I, I now put the, the right link in there. The the security one has forty one pages. And I, you know, I'm also having issues with uh, attention span and everything. I I'd like love to have everything in tweet size form. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. But there, there are also these times where you know I, I snuggle on the couch with the dog and I, I actually like to read. You know, things like like actual books that that are 500 pages and so on. Right. And I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I'm, I would say let's maybe not cut down on the pages. Let's find a different way to, to transport the same thing. That could be a slide deck, that could be a video, that could be anything else that, you know, actually literally fit, fits into, uh, into tweets where we actually have for this 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds elevator pitch. Um, maybe if you think, for example, the Olifest had this, this, these drawings, I don't know how they are, they're even live drawings where they, you know, during your talk, uh, capture what your talk was about. You know, let's invest that. I'm happy to pay that out of my own uh, pocket if, if that if money is an issue or we can get it via CNCF, whatever. Um, but I think such a, you know, hand-drawn uh, overview that, that captures the main points based on the white paper would be a much better way to address this this short attention span and oh I, i've lost you after 15 seconds but that's that's just my my personal gut is something like this like different presentation i think is absolutely needed but this is in parallel because there are people who, who consume it differently. Uh, but uh, I, I might also be completely wrong. So what, what do others think? Uh, just your gut um, or long uh, gut, either works. I think I'm inclined to agree that having a single uh, document not cut down is, is a little bit easier to read, especially when you're presenting it to somebody. And it also follows the, the convention of other documents. And we can produce an additional higher level or a higher order abstraction of what's inside here. And that's just my personal opinion because I'm, I'm used to reading these sort of technical documents. Um, but I do appreciate where you're coming from, Richie. Like sometimes it can be information overload. Yeah, that's a fair point. We can also summarize this. Or we can just completely drop it. Like again, it, it's not me trying to push this thing through. It's me, I, I thought about it and I think I think you're spot on. I think we, I mean, that's that was my kind of like worry when I looked at the, the tech security white paper. I was like, dude, am I supposed to read all the 50 whatever pages before I even have an idea or should I derive it from the table of contents or whatever? So yeah, it makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. To me, it's just a question like how, how can you summarize these things best? I'm just curious, like uh, what's the status of this um, white paper? Is it like mostly done, almost done? It should be in review and and okay. so it, it should be more or less done. Um, and we were supposed to walk through it and, and accept changes to it, but the two owners of the document are not in this call. So <laughs> I, I would I would not like to, uh, I, yeah. If they were here, we would currently be walking through, uh, through the document and, and approving sections. But as they're not here, uh, and I don't want to 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 steal their document, um, yeah, 
we are using the time differently. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's, that's I'm, right. I'm, yeah. I'm not necessarily 100% in agreement that it's already kind of like, you know, oh, it's just about reviewing and, and accepting whatever. Um, like, for example, if you look at the use cases, and that's, yeah, yes, it's my fault that <laughs> I haven't yet done that. And that was on the, the plan for me to, for this week to, to work on that and also to review and give feedback to uh, whoever else already provided uh, stuff there in, in the use case section. Um, so, you know, I, I think we need a lot, especially uh, end users going over that and, and give feedback in terms of what, what are potential holes, what is something that we are blind to from a, from a technological point of view, uh, or use cases as well. So I, <laughs> I'm not as, as confident and as optimistic as you are, Richie. Uh, uh, the, the, the reason why I ask is because if, um, if there are still upcoming iterations, then Maybe we can postpone this decisions of whether we want we want to split it up into further documents or not until all the iterations are completed. Good. That's where I'm coming from. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a fair point. Um, but I think at least given given but you're also more than welcome to to voice your opinion if you want us to be split up or not but uh, as as two people have currently have the opinion that we don't split it up that question i think is moot of course because if it's 10 pages more or five pages less that doesn't change the the underlying question so i think from that perspective we we don't split it unless there is someone strongly in favor And then we can still summarize in, in, a, in a short overview doc or maybe extract. Um, and we can, we can look at different presentations. I mean, on the topic of different presentations, that's also one of those things which I learned the hard way is the people who, who attend conferences tend to not be the people who, um, who read the white papers, tend to not be the people who read blog posts. Um, like, the people in this call are, are, are not the norm because we care more about the, uh, these topics than, than most other people. <laughs> um, but um, we will need to, we will need to recreate this content in different uh, formats anyway, or to reuse it or republish. Right. But I guess the, the, the contribution that we really have here is that we can establish a, a common vocabulary um, and with that common vocabulary, we help everyone. You know, if, if you go out, Rich, and give a talk for, for Grafana Labs, or I go out and give a lot talk for, for AWS, or Steve goes out and gives a lot a talk for, for, for Splunk, right? Um, if we all use the same vocabulary, the same terminology for pointing to certain things, then we establish something. And that is something that, as a tag, I think we can really help to, on the one hand, educate folks out there, like just, you know, Oh, this thing has a name. It's actually called exemplar, right? I don't need to half an hour explain, oh, this is the thing. I just say exemplar and everyone understands. And how do I know that? Well, I can point at the definition quote unquote, right? And that's to me more, much more valuable than, you know, having technical accuracy or whatever in, in the white paper. Not saying that it, it should bullshit, but, but, you know, establishing this vocabulary, this is really where, where our value comes in, right? But we say like, yes, let's, let's call it this way or you know this is the way how we slice up the world or whatever right i think to some extent the vocabulary is already defined like as you mentioned uh, exemplars and such but the problem is um people outside of that space are not fully aware of of, of what vocabulary is already being used and what precisely it means i mean in particular with exemplars even within grafana labs i got questions about what they actually are of course it's just non obvious. Right, right. There, there are the two cases on the one hand, the, that's what I mean with education, right? That we get the word out there and education, evangelize, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Like we say, yes, this is the set of, of vocabularies that we agreed upon. And then we can go out and you know spread the word in whatever form and shape. But then there's also this what what like what you're more working around the, the conformance, right? Where we say, like, look, um, here's a bunch of folks who who really care about that, who Kind of like are the domain experts um and we say this is this so if you are trying to 
like I, I've seen that recently happening with GitOps where everyone is doing GitOps nowadays, right? There was a very, very clear vision that Alexis and his folks had, right? Um, saying like, this is what we mean by GitOps. And now everyone and their dog is doing GitOps, which is fine, but you know, it's kind of like jumping on a bandwagon with, with you know, trying to get as much, you know, energy out of that. And, and that's where I would love to have a, like, if someone says like, I support exemplars in my offering or whatever, then, you know, we should be able, or a customer a user should be able to say like, oh, the tag uh, observability has put together the criteria for what that actually means. And that's not what you're shipping. So can you please clarify, or can you please be in line with that? That would be my, my long-term vision for it. I agree with the sentiment. Um, the problem is that that as soon as things enter buzzword phase, people will just start using them anyway. And, and if you have an official definition, people will just create a different official definition if that allows them to sell stuff. Uh, it's still useful to be able to point to that thing and say, well, this is what we actually mean when we talk about that thing. Um, I, I, I just lost my belief that we will be able to actually define this globally. Um, at least within CNCF and such, it would it would be good. Or maybe if if this can be bumped up one one step uh, within Linux Foundation, for example, um, that would already be tremendous in in overall impact. I think. Um, yeah, and at least you have a reference. I mean, I I've, I've been in ITF and such long enough. As soon as there is a definition, people will start referring to it. Of course, there is a definition. Um, Right. Yeah. Do we have any other uh, item on the agenda? Because I ha I do have one question. I'm kind of like uh, unsure because I, I missed that uh, that one or two uh, sessions when when that was discussed. That is, what is the current status with the hotel uh, due diligence? Where, where are we there? I, I it was kind of like referred to to the TUC and TUC members are looking at that or something that was my latest or last update. Um, it, it was not referred to TUC. TUC pulled it towards them on the basis of the new process, uh, which is which is a, a which is a which is no difference at all in in the uh, in the in effect. It's just something of course I'm German and borderline OCD. <laughs> um, I don't know uh, Steve yeah, so uh, the the TOC has the TOC sponsors that were nominated have been going through the dock and working with the uh, the hotel governance board uh, to ensure that uh, comments and things are addressed based on the feedback that the, the TOC sponsors had. My understanding is that that is wrapping up. I think it's this week. I don't quote me on that, but very very soon it is wrapping up. And my understanding is that they will bring it back to to tag observability. So I would assume, Richie, you're going to hear something here soon. It might be next week. Uh, and then I think we're going to review it, and then it will go through the the, the rest of the, the process defined in the CNCF. Thanks for the update. That was, that was the thing I was looking for. I was like, where, where is it currently? Where, where is the bounty ball? OK, thanks. Good. Let's write this down. Um, I mean, we can also we, we we don't have to we don't have to go to the end of the meeting. Uh, maybe one note for anyone who's interested: um, the CNCF published um, the intent to run Prometheus conformance program, or it's some weird wording. Cross governance board still needs to still needs to sign it off. But just so you've heard it, if you care about it, um, that's moving forward. Cool. So if there's nothing else, uh, uh, let's give. Yeah. Rishi, hi. Sorry. Uh, hi, Rishi. Uh, this, I guess, is my tw second or third observability meeting. And it's been a long time since I last attended one. And I just want to reintroduce myself and, uh, you know, uh, uh, ask everyone where I can contribute or something. Okay. Um, I'm just a bit la the last time I attended, like, I was looking to make contributions, but then I got involved in a lot of work. 
so i wasn't able to but i figured uh, this might be a good starting point to you know ask people where i can contribute or where i can help out um we so the one work package which is currently ongoing is the observability white paper but i think all of those have been claimed um there was talk about um about creating a, something about continuous profiling but i don't know if if that's been engaged with beyond that we are currently working to actually define the work packages or new work packages um so hanging out here or on on cncf or on the mailing list is, is the best place i guess currently there's nothing immediately where you can jump on as, as far as i'm aware but great to have the, you the white paper definitely would benefit from feedback so if you haven't read the white paper yet uh, which is linked from the doc and, and again here in the chat uh you know please do that's definitely sure, sure. any any kind of feedback be it you know gap, especially gaps but anything that is where you go like hey you know I, I would have expected that you cover this or what does that mean or whatever so feedback there would be very much appreciated any sure, like, any, particular, any particular area you're interested in personally um I'm, I'm i've been uh, very very interested in the observability space as a whole right so i'm looking to contribute at any project or anywhere else within tags of tag observability where i can help out okay yeah um ju just hang around i guess uh, there there should be uh New work packages coming soon. Um, and also we, we I think Mac published a few things on on GitHub already, um, giving feedback what you would be interested in or any changes, additions. This is probably yeah. sure, absolutely. I'll do that. Cool. cool. Anything else? Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me, Richie? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. You yes. can hear me. Yes. Sorry. Zoom on Fedora is not as clean as it is on Mac. I apologize. I guess just in the spirit of uh, saying hello, hello to everyone. Uh, my name's Ian. I joined Red Hat yesterday. Um, although I've been kind of flirting with the Prometheus ecosystem for a couple of years now, but decided to make it official uh, by joining Red Hat. So I hope uh probably to see a lot more of uh, of you all over the coming months i'm here just to kind of work and just to kind of um get to know faces and get to know what's going on so hello 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 oh welcome back i guess from my perspective <laughs> also i think ryan just joined uh, but i wasn't here the last call so we were just doing another round of intros so no, he wasn't. We had a different Ryan. But I don't think you were here before. So feel free to also uh, say hi and write yourself into here. Yo, uh, I'm just jumping in. What's up? Uh, just the intro? Uh, yeah, we, we are basically at the end. Uh, we are wrapping up. And so we, we just started to do a round of intros uh, as the closing. <laughs> Oh, oh well, <laughs> well, I'm here and I'm late and it's not going to be, I mean, yeah, my fault. I, I kind of, I thought that it was, uh, yeah, I missed it. But anyways, um, I guess, yeah, I'm Ryan. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm building a open source project called PyScript. I was here like two meetings ago, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I was just at like the financial services uh, oh, yeah. group right before this and uh yeah anyways I come yeah, back um, Ryan. my search wrapped and now i see you attended the second to last time i i didn't see the first search sorry uh, richie i apologize but uh i just saw an issue regarding the meetups right i'm, I'm really sorry I, I understand that this is not on the agenda already Right. So uh, is it all right if we, if I get into that? Yes, of course. 
so I just saw uh, an issue regarding the tag observability uh, for string meetups and uh, for observability focused meetups, basically, right? And uh, there is already a technical advisory group uh, that has been created on community.cncf. But uh, I'm not sure uh, if there are any members for it or if there are uh, any organizers are attached to it already or not. And I just want to understand who exactly uh, will be the person to contact for this. So um, the way this usually works, and this is like, this knowledge is, is more than a year old course. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of pizza recently. Um, the way this usually works is you create a group um, for your local city um, uh, on meetup.com and then you coordinate with CNCF uh, for them to, to adopt that meetup group and then they uh, pay the membership fees and everything. Um, it is. It used to be Amy. I suspect it's still Amy. And if you if you want to to do this under the umbrella of uh, of tag observability, um, just send email, I guess, and and uh, CC Amy, in, or I can forward it to Amy, and then we figure out how how this goes. I don't know if the process changed, but uh, so starting. Actually, uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry to just to give a background. I'm actually uh, leading the CNCG Mumbai community already. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we, I mean, like we already have a local chapter on the community.cncf channel that, that was recently created, right? The entire platform that was recently created. Uh, my question more specifically was that uh, on the community.cncf uh, platform, if you go, right, you'll see that there is a, a section specifically for tag observability. There's a group specifically already created for tag observability. Yes. Uh, if you want to join that with the existing, I have no idea, but no objections from me. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. So I just want to understand, like, who is the owner or something for this? Yeah, I think Amy is is a really really good uh, good guess. She usually knows. Uh, At least she can sure. route you to. Do, sure. do you know how to reach her or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll get in yeah. touch with her. I think she might yeah. be on the tag observability channel as well. Uh, I'll anyway reach out yeah. to her. So we, She's because everywhere. We recently, uh, yeah, yeah. Because we recently actually organized an observability one one meetup where like we had around 2K, 3K people joined in and everything, right? But uh, we, we were not sure how exactly we can attach it to this tag observability chapter in specific. So I figured I'll just check in over here. Yeah, for, for, for the specific, like, yeah, talk to Amy. Uh, I, I suspect Ihor would be the one who, who or maybe, it, uh, talk to Amy. Uh, and if she has any questions or, or needs this to be blessed, or I don't know, um, then um, just CC me in, I guess. Sure, sure. I'll do that. Yeah. I'm just writing it down so you don't forget. So, unless there's anything else we can give, we, I think this is the first time we, we don't overrun by those magic 10 minutes and we actually give everyone 10 minutes back. Yay. Recovering, recovering from Kubernetes, uh, from KubeCon, that's still, still a good, good thing. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Then thank you very much for joining and see you in two weeks' time. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Peace out. Thanks a lot, everyone.